Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. A good friend of mine once told me that he was able to buy a an angle grinder that you can adjust the speed. I said, wow, that's nice. And then I was thinking, maybe I can do something that I can, because I already have my own angle grinder, right? So I was thinking maybe I can do something so that I can also change the speed of my grinder whenever I want to. No? So sometimes I want to use it for buffing some stainless steel and I want the speed to be, I was really thinking of how I can reduce the speed of the, uh, of my angle grinder. So um, I found this in Shopee. Okay, so it's a variable speed controller for AC, AC motors. No? So you can adjust the speed of any any alternating current motor that you have that runs from uh, 220 volts. No? Okay, so I ordered the ordered this from Shopee around uh, the Shopee sale of two 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 Shopee sale. So I got this free shipping. Salamat Shopee. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I use this to change the. Uh, I was able to reduce and change the speed of my grinder. So. I already made one I'm gonna show you okay okay so I was able to put this variable speed controller inside this okay the parts for this you can buy uh, from any hardware store no so this is a junction box a two gun outlet and then the controller okay and then some wires you will also need a plug okay that will be uh, that you will connect to your power okay so it's very simple no? you you plug the variable controller to your ac power source and then you plug your angle grinder here like so yes okay so you can see let's turn on our angle grinder This is okay, no? Especially when you are going to use your grinder for buffing and you're going to need some slower or lower speeds, no? It's a very good add-on, okay? So you don't need to buy any more the angle grinder that has a variable speed controller like what they have for an ordinary hand drill, no? So let's start the DIY okay, project for variable speed controller. Okay, so I'm going to show you first the things that you are going to need for this variable controller, variable speed controller. So you're going to need the the, the device itself. No? This will be the heart of your project. Okay, you're going to order this from, from Shopee or Lazada. No? Okay, I will uh, show you where I was able to order okay and then the common items you can buy from uh, any hardware store an extension outlet a plug a junction box with cover okay with the screws and then spare wire okay the wire could be it should be at least standard size not that can take in power from 220 volts okay so first step would be to drill holes from our cover so that we can attach the device now i already removed the knob 
Okay, so you can easily remove them. Just pull it out. No? Okay, and then you will drill holes, okay, from your cover so that you can put it in. So, it should be uh, a little bit, maybe around one inch from this hole right here. Okay. So after you put your hole for your speed controller, you're going to need holes for your um, outlet. Okay. So let's put holes first here. So your outlet will look like this. So from the power source, these two holes here and another set of holes here, this will be uh, attached to your cover. So you're going to put holes here also. Okay. And then for, for the attachment, I will just use cable tie.
Okay, so from your uh, speed controller, these two will be going to the outlet. So from the outlet that we connected here, these two wires will go here. Ayan. Okay, these two wires will go here. And then from the input, these two connections here will go to the plug. Okay, to the plug.
So this is now our variable speed controller for the AC motors. Okay, that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Till my next video. Have a nice day.